Hi, Emmanuelite family. Well, what a time to be living at the moment, a time of uncertainty and fear for many, a time where we're not sure what the future holds, and a time for God's people to be able to stand on the firm conviction that God is in control and that he hasn't allowed the coronavirus to slip through the cracks. Corona means crown, but Jesus is the only one who wears the crown, and we know that, and we must believe that at this time. But let me give you a brief update on where we stand as a church. As Christians, we've got to make sure that on the one hand, we don't panic, and on the other hand, we're not complacent. And above all, we must go with what the law of the land says, and the president's directives have been clear. So from, the, from this Sunday, we won't be meeting as a church here at the Emmanuel Building, and that will be for the foreseeable future until the ban is lifted. We also won't be meeting in small groups. We won't have our children's programs on a Friday evening, and we won't have our youth programs. Please just keep um, abreast of developments as you watch the channels of communication for changes that may happen in the weeks to come. And there will be changes. We'll keep communicating. We'll need to do that. But from this Sunday, we will upload a sermon or we will live stream a sermon uh, which will be available for you to watch as an individual or as a family or with friends or even with a small group that you choose to gather with. That sermon will be uploaded at 9.30 on a Sunday morning. And it'll be available for you to watch and to engage with and to pray around. We don't want to separate ourselves from everybody else at this time. In fact, at this time, we need one another perhaps more than ever. And God has provided wonderful technology to enable that. So make sure that you're caring and having contact with those that you know, perhaps those who are on the fringes. Um, find out if you can how they're doing and check in regularly. And certainly as a church, we will endeavor to do that. For those who do meet in small groups of some kind, perhaps to watch the sermon, to pray together, can I urge you to just maintain good hygiene practices, don't have personal contact, make sure you're not hugging and uh, shaking hands, that kind of thing. Make sure you're washing your hands regularly, using hand sanitizers. If you are in any way symptomatic with any kind of signs of cold or flu, don't go along to any small groups. If you've traveled recently, don't go to any small groups. Stay away for at least two weeks. If you yourself are at risk because of other confounding issues, don't put yourself in harm's way. As we seek to care for people in our church, we're going to need help. We're going to need volunteers, perhaps, to help with shopping for those who can't get out, to help with childcare for those parents who still have to work. And if you're able to volunteer in any of those areas, won't you get hold of the church office? And we're going to try and coordinate a care effort to look after those in most need. In terms of finances, can I just urge you as well to continue giving towards Emmanuel Church and towards the ministry here. We have to pay staff salaries, we have to pay our bills. And so continue to give generously towards gospel work here and towards our building fund, that God may continue to use us in the years to come. And God willing, uh, this will blow over at some point and we'll return to some kind of normality. Most importantly, can I say that this crisis is a call to prayer. God has given us this wake-up call to say, are you depending on me? And it's a way for us as Christians to witness that to the world. So please be praying as individuals, as families, as small groups. Pray that this would come to an end. Pray that a vaccine would be found. Pray for the healthcare workers. Pray for those who are sick. Pray that God would use this for the good of the gospel. Psalm 46 says, Be still and know that I am God. God bless and we'll be in contact. There'll be many more things to say and we'll keep you in the loop. Thank you.